Hello and welcome back. In this lecture and in next lecture, I want to introduce you to MongoDB aggregation pipeline, which is extremely powerful and extremely useful MongoDB framework for data aggregation. And to understand aggregation pipeline, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new route handler function. So let me scroll down and here, let me go ahead and let me create a new route handler function. And I will simply call it get movie stats. Okay. And here it is going to be an async function and this function is going to receive the request and response object okay so the idea here is to basically create a pipeline through which all the documents of a collection will go through where they will be processed step by step in order to transform them into aggregated result okay for example we can use aggregation pipeline to calculate the aggregations like averages or calculating the minimum and maximum value, count, sum, etc. So this function here, it is going to calculate a statistics about our movies. And here we are creating a route handler function and we are going to define a new route and use this function as a route handler for that. Okay. So inside this function, let's first go ahead and let's add try catch block. And this sketch block is going to receive an error object. And inside this sketch block, let me go ahead and let me copy this code and let me put it here. And in the try block, let's go ahead and let's create a variable. Let's call it maybe stats. And here on the movie model, we are going to use aggregate. So keep in mind that the aggregation pipeline is basically a MongoDB feature which allows us to aggregate data. For example, calculating averages, getting the minimum and maximum value or getting the sum, etc. Now, Mongoose gives us access to this framework from our Express app using this aggregate function. Okay, so using this aggregate function, this aggregate method, we can utilize the aggregate feature of MongoDB. Now, this aggregation pipeline is a bit like regular queries. The difference here is that in aggregation, we can manipulate the data in order to aggregate it. And to do so, the data, that is the document of a collection has to go through different stages of aggregation pipeline. So here, to this aggregation method, we can define different stages and all the documents will go through those stages step by step. And in order to specify different stages, what we need to do is we need to pass an array to this aggregate method and inside that array, we can specify different stages. Okay, so inside this array, we specify different stages and then the document passes through these stages one after the other in the order in which they are specified. And there are a lot of different stages that we can choose from based on our requirement. The stages which we are going to use in this lecture is the match stage and the group stage. But as I mentioned, we have a lot of other stages as well. So here, let's first go ahead and let's use the match stage. Now, in order to specify a stage, we use a set of curly braces like this and in there, we specify the stage name. Here, the stage name is match. So, we need to specify dollar $match and to this, we need to assign another set of objects. Okay, we call it as documents and in there, we can use a field based on which we want to filter the data. Basically, this match stage is used to match or filter certain documents. So, here, let's say, we want to filter those documents where the rating is greater than 4.5. And to do that, we can simply say ratings. And here we want to use an operator. So to this ratings, we will assign another set of curly braces. In there, we will specify the operator which we want to use. Here, the operator is going to be, let's say, greater than or equal to. So GTE. And then we specify the value. So let's say value is 4.5. So currently inside this aggregation pipeline, inside this array, we are specifying only one stage and what this will do is it will filter all the documents from the movies collection where the ratings is greater than 4.5 and to test this let's go ahead and let's create a new route so let's go to this movies routes and there let's go ahead and let's create a new route so here let's say router dot route and let's specify an endpoint so let's say the endpoint is going to be slash maybe movie hyphen stats okay and then on that let's use this get function and in there let's specify the route handler name so here in the movies controller we have created a route called 
get movie stats. Let's save the changes and let's go back to our movies controller. And there we also want to return some response, right? So I will scroll up again. I will copy this line of code. Let me scroll down and let me paste it here. And here the status code is going to be 200. That means OK. And in the data, we want to send stats. OK, so basically the data which we have inside this stats variable. And here this aggregate is again going to return a query. And we want to wait for that query to return us a result. So for that here, we are going to use the await keyword. With this, let's save the changes. Let's go to Postman. And in there, let's type the endpoint. So basically, after this movies, we are going to use movies stats. Let's make a request. And here, we don't have any movie object in the result. Let's go back to VS Code and let's actually see the endpoint here. So it is movie stats. And here I am calling movie stats. So it should be movie stats. Let's send the request again. And now you see we have the result. And here let me also go ahead and let me specify the length. So here let's also specify the length property or let's say count property. And for that we can say stats.length. Okay, let's save the changes again. Let's go back to Postman. Let's make the request again. And in the result, you will see the count is 8. That means all these movie objects has a rating greater than 4.5. Okay, so as you can see, all these movies has a rating greater than 4.5. So let me go back to VS Code. And there, let's say we want to get all the movies where the rating is greater than maybe 7. Let's save the changes again. And let's go to Postman. And let's make a new request. And now in the result, we have only six movie objects. And all these movie objects will have a rating greater than seven or equal to seven. So basically what has happened here is each document which we have inside the movies collection, it will go through this aggregation pipeline and this condition will be checked. And whichever document will satisfy this condition that will be returned in the result. Here, only six movie documents satisfied this condition where the ratings is greater than or equal to seven and that has been returned in the result. Okay, now let me change it back to 4.5. And after that, so this is one stage in this aggregation pipeline. Now in the same way, we can have multiple stages. So to specify another stage, we need to use a comma and then again, a set of curly braces and in there, we can specify another stage. So the another stage which we are going to use here is the group stage. And this group stage is used to group documents together using some kind of accumulator. And to specify the stage, we again use dollar sign and the name of the stage. So the name of the stage here is group. Okay. And then again to that, we need to assign a set of curly braces. Now, the first thing which we need to specify here is the underscore ID. Because this will specify what we want to group by. For now, we will simply set it to null. Because here, we want to have everything in one group so that we can calculate the statistics for all of the movies together and not separated by groups. Okay, we will also see how to group by different fields later in this lecture. Let me move it to a separate line so that it will be more readable. Okay, so here we are specifying the ID field. Now, let's say we want to calculate the average rating for all the movies. So for that here, let's specify a field. We will call it average rating and to this we will assign another set of curly braces and in there we will use an operator and the operator to calculate the average is dollar avg which stands for average and here we need to specify the field on which we want to calculate the average so here the field is going to be ratings right but here in order to specify the field first we need to use a set of quotes and in there we need to specify the field name prefixed with dollar so here the field name is going to be ratings in the same way, we also want to calculate the average price for all the movies. So I will call it average price. To this, again, we will assign a set of curly braces. In there, we will use an operator. Since we want to calculate the average, the operator is going to be $AVG. 
and to this again we need to specify the field on which we want to calculate the average so here in the quotes we will specify the field name and the field name here is going to be price because here we want to calculate the average of price in the same way let's say we also want to get the maximum price of a movie and the minimum price of a movie so here i'll call it min price and to calculate the minimum price we can use dollar min operator okay in the same way we also want to calculate the maximum price so let's call this field as max price and to calculate the maximum price we can use the operator dollar max now keep in mind these names which we are specifying here in the result these names will act like a field let's actually see that so let's save the changes let's go to postman and there let's make another request so when i click on this send button you see in the result we have these stats so average rating is 7.325 average price is 53.375 minimum price of a movie is 40 and maximum price of a movie is 65 so in this way as you can see in the aggregation pipeline using the group stage we can get some stats of a given data and this is what we use group stage for let's say we also want to calculate the total price of all the movies for that all we have to do is we have to add another field let's call it maybe price total and to calculate the total price we are going to use another operator called dollar sum okay and to that we will assign the price field because we want to calculate the sum of total price and let's say we also want to calculate the total number of movies on which this aggregation is happening okay so for that let's say we have a field called maybe movie count to that again we will specify a set of curly braces in there we are again going to use dollar sum operator but this time we are going to use it differently so now to this dollar sum this time we will add one so what this will do is for each document it will add one to the sum so initially this movie count will be zero then when the first document will go through this aggregation pipeline there the movie count will be one then when the second document will go through this aggregation pipeline there the movie count will be two and so on with this let's save the changes let's go back to postman and there let's again make a request and now you will see price total is 427 and movies count is eight because currently all the documents are going through this aggregation pipeline because if you remember in this match stage we are specifying the ratings as 4.5 so all the movies have a rating greater than or equal to 4.5 and that's why all the movie documents will go through this aggregation stage if i change it to seven in that case only six documents will go through this aggregation stage and keep in mind that here we are using two stages so the second stage will be applied on the result of the first stage then if we use any other stage let's say any third stage then the third stage will be applied on the result of these two stages so here in this case this stage will return six documents and on those six documents this group stage will be applied let's actually see that so let's save the changes again let's go to postman and let's make a request again so this time you see the movie count is six because now the group stage is applied only on those six documents which has been filtered by the match stage now currently we have set this id as null and that's why this grouping is working on all the documents which has been returned by this match stage okay now here i will again change this condition back to 4.5 so that we can apply this group stage on all the documents because all the documents has a rating greater than or equal to 4.5 okay and now what we want is we want to group the movies based on release year so here to this id we are going to assign a field called release year so the field name is release year let's save the changes let's go to the postman again and let's make a request again and now you will see that now we have stats based on the release year 
So for example, for 2013, the average rating is 7, average price is this, minimum price 47, maximum price 65, then total price is 221 and movie count is 4. So in our movies collection, we have 4 movies which has been released in year 2013. Then we have 3 movies which has been released in the year 2014. And we have the average rating for those movies, average price, minimum price, maximum price and so on. And in the same way, we also have movies which is released in year 2012. So here we have stats for those movies. So basically, we have only one movie whose release year is 2012. And these are the stats for those movies. So when we specify a field here for this ID, the grouping is done based on that field. Keep this point in mind. All right. Now let's try another stage. So we also have a stage called sort. So to use this stage, after this group stage, we can use a comma and then we can use another set of curly braces. There we specify the stage name. Here the stage name is going to be dollar sort. And to this, we need to assign a field by which we want to sort the result. Now here, as I mentioned earlier, this stage will be applied on the result of these two stages. Now what is the result of these two stages? Let's go to Postman and this is the result. And if you see in the result, we have ID field, average rating field, average price field, minimum price, maximum price, price total and movie count. So these are the fields of the result of these two stages. So here in the sort stage, we need to use one of these fields. Because if we try to use something like, for example, ratings, ratings is not available. There is no ratings field in this result. Right. So you can think of these as documents. And from this document, we need to take a field based on which we want to sort the result. So here, let's say we want to sort the result based on min price. So let me copy this. Let's go to VS Code and there let's specify the field name. Okay. So the field name is min price and we want to sort it in ascending order. So here we need to assign one to it. If I save the changes now and if we go to Postman and again, if we make a request, now the data should be sorted based on min price okay so here min price is 40 here min price is 47 and here it is 57. finally we can also repeat a stage for example on the result of these three stages let's say we again want to use this match stage so i'll copy it from here let's use a comma here let's specify this match stage again and here we want to filter the documents basically the documents from this result where let's say the maximum price is maybe greater than or equal to 60. so let's go back to vs code and there let's specify the condition so here we want to use max price and we want to filter the documents based on this max price where the max price is greater than or equal to 60. and if we see this result here there is only one document where the max price is greater than or equal to 60 which is this document in the first document the max price is 57 and in the third document max price is again 57 so now when we run this so let me go to vs code let me save the changes again let's go back to postman and there if i click on this send button now in the result we should have only one document where the max price is greater than or equal to 60. So I hope with these examples, now it is clear how the aggregation pipeline works. Basically, we use aggregation pipeline to perform aggregation on the data. For example, here we are performing these aggregations on the documents. And in an aggregation pipeline, we can specify different stages. And the result of one stage will be the input for the next stage. All right, now let me quickly go to browser and here let's search for MongoDB documentation. Here, let's go to this www.mongodb.com. From there, let's go to resources and developer center. Here, let's go to documentation. Let's go to use MongoDB. And here, this is the documentation for MongoDB. You can go through this documentation if you want. Now here, I simply want to go to references. So if I scroll down, we should have this references here. In there, 
let's scroll down and here we have operators and in there we have aggregation pipeline stages and aggregation pipeline operators so let's first go to the aggregation pipeline stages and here you can see all the stages which we can use in an aggregation pipeline okay for example currently we have used this group stage and we also used match stage so here we have this match stage so these two stages we have used but we also have other stages which we can use inside an aggregation pipeline and we will see a couple of them in the next lecture then if i go to aggregation pipeline operators and here you can find all the operators which we can use inside an aggregation pipeline stage okay so here we have arithmetic expression operators for example for calculating absolute value adding then we also have something like log log 10 power round square root etc then we have array expressions like these okay we have boolean expressions and not or we have comparison expressions greater than greater than or equal to less than less than or equal to okay then if i scroll down we should have other types of operators for example we have data expression operators okay so all kind of operators you can find here okay so you can go through this documentation of this aggregation pipeline if you want to learn more about aggregation pipeline in mongodb and what different operators and different stages do we are going to cover some of the stages in the next lecture as well and there we will also talk about some other operators but if you want to learn in deep then you can go through this documentation this is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.